Hi, and we're continuing the series of the Astrology Basics, the 101 of all you need to know to be able to understand your birth chart. So today we are moving on to the first official personal planet, Mercury. Now Mercury rules Virgo and Gemini. There we go. <laughs> And um, it's called a personal planet, in case you're unfamiliar with the term, it's called a personal planet because these move quickly enough around the sun so that way these planets can be more idiosyncratic to people as opposed to planets that take a longer time to move around the sun and are more generational planets. So let's dive into Mercury. Mercury rules communication, how we how we hear things, how we say things, how we um, embody information um, with how technology is transforming. Mercury has a huge impact on that and transportation, pretty much anything that says we're going from here to here, especially when it comes to our words and our thoughts. We're talking about Mercury. Mercury rules the mind. No, no feelings, no feelings necessarily, but it's all up here. It's all up here. If you're thinking the brain, if you're thinking the head, you're thinking Mercury. Now, depending on where Mercury sits in your chart, that could tell you a whole lot. Thinking about career, um, the way that my Mercury sits, my Mercury is in my 10th house. So, and I just happen to be a journalist. So let's say that your Mercury is in the sixth house. Maybe you'd be a good therapist, somebody that's help, able to help people talk through their big feelings or their big thoughts or inquiries about home. Let's say your Mercury's in the eighth house. To me, that's sounding more like a financial advisor, somebody that's able to talk in depth about other people's money. But anyway, here's some examples of where your Mercury sits, as in what sign your Mercury is, and what that can tell you about how you communicate and how you get information. My Mercury, I'll start with myself, my Mercury is in Scorpio. So the way that I talk and the way that I get information, the way that I'm able to understand information, it follows Scorpio-like tendencies. And I really see that come out in myself when I'm interviewing somebody. I'm always trying to get underneath the surface of what's happening. Um, in Not that I don't believe what somebody is initially telling me, but more in that I know that there's so much more. There's a wealth of a person underneath the surface level conversation that we're having. So I'm constantly digging in a way that is through the back door in how I communicate with people, especially in how I conduct my interviews. Now, a sign that whose Mercury could be in the complete opposite of this is a Sag Mercury. When I think Sag Mercury, oh, hold up. This little guy got caught. I'm just gonna fix that really quick. Okay, we're back. I think I was talking about Sag Venus. So, not Venus, Sag Mercury. So, Sag Mercury is, is, it is fast, it is witty, it is, I'm gonna say it and you're gonna feel however you wanna feel about it. It's not, it's not necessarily as precarious with words as other Mercuries will be, but you will always know what they feel and how they think. Sag and Aries, Mercuries, yeah, they're not, <laughs> they're not great with subtleties. So I think that people that especially give the energy of a Sag or an Aries Mercury, they're not gonna lie to you, but they're also not gonna hold back punches. Once again, like everything that I've mentioned before, all of these planets are interacting with other planets, which could give you more information about how the energy of your Mercury shows up in your life. And also the house that it's in can tell you a whole lot. So if you'd like me to look at your chart, more information about that below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you wanna share what your Mercury is. You might find some people to talk to in the comments. So feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and tune in next time for more Astrology 101.